Hello guys, so today we are going to learn how to set up Amazon Seller Central account. First of all, you need to search Amazon Seller Central and once you are here, you need to enter your full name. Please make sure that the name you are entering is exactly the same that's on your passport. And once you uh, enter your email, then they'll send an OTP to your email address just to confirm that the email address is legit. And now you click on begin and you move to the next step where they will ask for your business location and you need to select the country in which you are planning to do your business in my case my country of business was Pakistan and my business type was individual since if you are a business a registered business you will select a company sole proprietorship or a business owner or partnership anything now you need to re-enter your name and uh, re-enter your name click on I confirm my business location and type are correct and you move forward the other step is you already you have already written your name they'll ask for your citizenship you have to select the country where you belong in my case I'm I'm born in Pakistan and I'm a Pakistani citizen my place of birth is Pakistan I'll select my date of birth you need and my birth year then they'll ask for identity proof there are two types of three types of identity proof number one is a license your ID card or passport I chose my ID card they will ask the ID card number the expiry date and then you'll move to the next step they'll ask for your residential address you need to enter your residential address just make sure that the address that you are entering here matches the address that you are living in you must have uh, you must have a bank statement in which your residential address is res residential address or your business address must be mentioned now you need to enter your mobile number because after verifying your email address they need to verify your mobile number They'll, they need to make sure that the number you are using is already not used by any other seller on Amazon so they'll send an OTP to your number uh, once you are done verifying your mobile number you can click on next and move to the next step now you will get an OTP in your number on your number and you need to enter the OTP here to verify your phone And now click on next to move to the next step here you need to give them a charge method because Amazon will be charging you uh, a fee of $39.99 per month now you need to enter your card details the expiry of that card and the year on which it's gonna expire the card holders name make sure that it's your own card you are not using your friends your uh, parents or anyone's address it must be the it must be under your name now click on next Now you need you need to choose a store name which can be edited later so you can also edit this later now it will ask you do you have UPC barcodes you can say yes and for the manufacturer do you are you the manufacturer or the brand name owner you can see some of them do you own government registered trademark you can click on some of them as well If you don't have a trademark, you can still select some of them because maybe in future you plan to register a trademark. Now you need to ensure that all the information that you have entered is correct and you need to upload your national ID card or passport and the proof of address, your bank statement or your credit card statement. Now they'll instantly schedule a verification call to verify your identity and they will check if the person creating Amazon seller central account is the one on the verification call that's it now 
your seller central is ready and you are ready to sell thank you